Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts. And today, I'm on board the beautiful Allure of the Seas. This particular category is an accessible ocean view balcony. Now it's got some good accessibility features that may be a great fit for you. Now I'm gonna take you through all of that here in just a moment, but keep in mind when you're ready to book this room or any room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com or reach out to your hard travel advisor. We know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now let's tour the room. Now we've started off right here in the middle of the room and you can see that there's quite a bit of extra space compared to a standard balcony. So you have a pretty decent turning radius in here and you're gonna have a wider door. Now I did wanna point out being a little bit of an older ship, it does not have an automatic door either here coming in and out or going in and out of the bathroom. So just take that into account when booking and keep in mind that some of the brand new, more modern ships with the Royal Caribbean fleet may have a few more accessibility features. Now, as we step into the door here, you've got a nice wide door for the bathroom, a smooth threshold to roll in. And then as you get in here, it's a pretty good size. Now the shower over here has the shower door that pulls down. I do like that it's close to the handle here. So you've got a couple hooks, you've got the lower amenities. I did notice that they have both the bath amenities above and down below as well. Now it's gonna be a little bit better for those who are left hand dominated, just keep that in mind. Now as we head further on, you're gonna see that you have a grab bar there. You've got grab bars around the toilet. I do wish they had another grab bar that popped down here as well. Phones just to the side there. You're gonna find that you have storage both underneath and up above with the shelves. Plug for a razor that's down low here and a drawer for storage. You've got a little bit more storage here on the countertop and then you do have room to roll underneath the sink to utilize it. Now, as we get to head on out, I just wanted to point out they've got a couple lower hooks here, lower shower bars, and then they're also gonna have more hooks down below. Now, as I shut the door here, you've got a little bit of storage on the side. You've got a floor to ceiling mirror here that you can utilize to get ready. And here's the primary storage. So you're gonna find that you have drawers up and down. They do have the safe conveniently located down a little bit lower. It's perfect size for a passport or a wallet, not quite big enough for a laptop. Now on the other side here, you're gonna find your hanging storage. So that does go all the way across. You're also gonna have the pull bar that will come down to bring it a little bit lower. And then you also have this will pop down for a little bit lower storage as well. Now to my left, you're gonna find the bed. It's together in what's called the Royal King configuration now. It does separate apart into two twins. And you're also gonna have storage underneath the bed to tuck your large bags away. Now you've got a US plug on one side. You have the emergency call buttons on either side. And then you're also going to have lamps for reading. Now, directly across, you're gonna find a flat panel TV. It's fully interactive, so you can see what's going on throughout the ship. In addition to watching television and streaming, you've got a mini fridge underneath, drawers for storage, and in there you'll also find your hair dryer. Now you've got two US plugs here and a European plug. I always bring extra European adapters and converters to take advantage of all the plugs in the space. You've got a large backlit mirror to get ready and shelves up and down. Now directly across, you're gonna find a small reading chair, I did wanna point out that each and every room here has different configurations, two, three, or four. You'll see that on the deck plans on hardtravel.com and you can see here, they've got the Pullman bed so you can see what that's all about. Coffee table just in between. And then as we head out, it does ramp up on the way out. Let's head out to the balcony to see what that's all about. Now you have a slight ramp up and then slight ramp down. You're gonna have a table and two chairs here. It's a pretty good sized balcony and keep in mind they can also remove balcony furniture for you based on your accessibility needs. Now we know that each and every single person has their own needs, whether they're accessibility or otherwise. We wanted to demonstrate this room and you can see the other rooms and suites on the ship as well to find the perfect fit for you. Now when you're ready to book this room or any room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity or Silver Sea, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of the interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.